So, Cornelius, can you tell us a little bit about your observations regarding this weapon? Oh, it's um, concerning the handle. It's interesting that we have both what appears to be a thumb ring here, this cradle basically where I can rest the thumb, and on the other side, interesting for us, the shape of the pommel, which is very flat. And it looks like it's, it's a hand for the rest, so we're always very uh, skeptical of that. But in this case, the thumb rest allows for sort of a, like a bit pulling the hand up slightly like this. So it's not like the pommel plate bites into the hand here so much. Okay, so it's not... Uh, but you... Uh, we usually expect that you can go to a particular position of the hand which is more extended. Exactly. And this so, does not seem to be the optimal position for this sword. Uh, exactly. So we would uh, somewhat like to, to take the pommel into the hand here, mm -hmm. which doesn't work. Not only because it's flat. It's more like a plate than... Um, exact, uh, exactly. But, but also unlike like, uh, uh, Viking Age early medieval swords, it's very wide. Mm. So it's not like I can like, pass the hand by here because there's still this, this um, surface here. So what we notice so is you that mean, uh, it's like um, a stopper, so that yeah. like a lock, so yeah. I cannot slip by with the hand. Exactly. So it doesn't only stop here at the back and at the front, but also at the side. I see. So, um, but we notice that actually, if we, if we grip it here, we can, in a relaxed way, sort of let it slip forward. Mm -hmm. And if you make those somewhat circular movements that uh, your Achimaya, for instance, does in Duse. You can sort of extend it, but you still have this angle between the forearm and the blade. Mm -hmm. So you feel at this point, sort of the pommel stops you, but it feels somewhat okay actually. So it's not restricted, like I'm doing that like this. You can sort of uh, let it fall forward, let it fly forward to a certain extent, and then it sort of uh, remains in that angle while you retreat and try to come again with the blade forward, with the thrust or with the cut. Does, do you think that um, the shape of the pommel or the very fact that at one point as you extend the hand forward uh, you actually feel the pommel plate biting into the hand that this is uh, like a signal for turning the blade? Um, it could be, yeah. So it's, um, we probably need much more um, uh, experiments uh, with that kind of thing. But the careful movements I did here on this floor, um, they suggest that yeah, there is like a a gentle stop, um, and of course, if, if the whole cutting mechanic. Can, can you show us where you feel, where and when you feel that it, stop? It, 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 uh, throw the blade forward, and now I say the blade itself travels forward. There's this point somewhat here. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so here it's uh, the, there's um, basically no contact, and here it sort of starts to get in here. So that would be like maybe a turning point where, uh, turning point where, where you're yeah. supposed to change direction? Yeah, from, from now it would not be, let's say, the, the, uh, the sword traveling in my hand. It would, let's say, from this point onwards, it would be like a, a unit, you could say, of, of the sword in my mm -hmm. arm traveling forward. And then I would probably relax anyway. Mm. And this game goes forward. So, come to think about it, since you have these moments where you like here, it sort of feels like a shield here, but that's of course mm -hmm. probably purely accidental. But, um, yeah, it feels like that there's a stopper, from which point on you don't extend into, let's say, a thrusting position where you have the blade completely in one line with the arm. Which, even though there's not much curvature, one could argue it's not so relevant for a saber-like blade anyway. And this is a 17th uh, century weapon, something we would expect to see in 30 years for war. Probably, I'm not an expert in that, but yeah, maybe late, late 16th century, 17th century, hmm. something like that.